Okay, let's be real for a second. You're just going about your day, and then you feel it, a new lump under your skin. What's the first thing that happens? Your mind just starts racing, right? That's a totally normal reaction. And that's the big question, isn't it? Is this something harmless, or is it something more serious? So in this explainer, we're gonna break down the key differences between two common causes, the harmless lipoma and the more serious lymphoma. Our goal is to give you the clarity you need to understand what to look for, and more importantly, what to do next. Okay, so let's start with what's usually the most likely answer, which is great news. We're talking about lipomas. Think of this as the benign, you know, the non-cancerous possibility. So what even is a lipoma? Well, it's pretty simple actually. It's just a growth made up of fat cells. The two words you really want to hang on to here are non-cancerous and slow-growing. That's key. They can pop up pretty much anywhere you have fat tissue, but the bottom line is they're harmless. And this is super helpful. It's like a little checklist for what you might be feeling. A classic lipoma. It feels soft, kind of doughy. You can usually push it around a little bit under your skin, and it's almost always painless. Plus, it's a slow mover. It might just hang out for years without changing much at all. If that sounds like what you've got, chances are it's a lipoma. Okay, now we have to talk about the other side of the coin. It's really, really important to understand lymphoma because even though it's way less common, it's a serious condition that you absolutely need to get checked out right away. See, a lymphoma is a totally different ballgame. It's not a little fatty growth. This is a cancer of the lymphatic system. And that system, it's a huge part of your body's immune defense squad. So when something's wrong there, it's a system-wide problem, not just a bump on your arm. And right here, you can see the biggest difference. A lymphoma often comes with other signs. We're not just talking about swollen lymph nodes. We're talking about symptoms that can affect your whole body. Things like losing weight without trying, getting fevers and night sweats, or just feeling wiped out all the time. The lump itself might feel different too, often a bit more firm, maybe even rubbery. So now that we have a feel for both, let's put them right next to each other. Seeing the differences side by side makes it all so much clearer. This chart is perfect for a quick, at a glance comparison. On one side, you've got lipoma, benign, slow growing, pretty much harmless. On the other side, lymphoma, cancerous, can grow fast and needs immediate medical attention. The takeaway couldn't be simpler. One is a harmless fat tumor, the other is a cancer of your immune system. Okay, let's get into one of the most hands-on ways you can tell the difference, mobility. Can you move it? A lipoma, you can usually kind of wiggle it around under the skin, but a lump from a lymphoma, that often feels stuck, like it's anchored down to whatever is underneath it. All right, next clue, how fast is it growing? Time is a huge tell here. Lipomas are like the tortoises in this race. They can take months, even years, to change in any noticeable way. Some lymphomas, though, are the hairs. They can grow much, much faster. Any lump that's growing quickly is your body's way of screaming, go see a doctor. And this might just be the most important difference of all. A lipoma is usually, well, it's just a lump. That's it. It doesn't make you feel sick. But a lymphoma is different. Because it's messing with your immune system, it can set off all those other alarms in your body. The fever, the night sweats, the weight loss we talked about. It's a sign that something much bigger is happening. Okay, so you've done a little self-assessment based on these signs, but listen, self-diagnosis is not the final answer here ever. So let's talk about what happens when you see a professional. How do they really figure out what's going on? For a suspected lipoma, the process is usually really straightforward, which is great news. It starts with a simple physical exam. A lot of the time, an ultrasound is all it takes to see that, yep, it's just a fatty growth. A biopsy is pretty rare, so that should hopefully take some of the anxiety out of it. Now, diagnosing a lymphoma, for obvious reasons, is a much more thorough process. It also starts with a physical exam, but it's followed by blood tests, more advanced scans like a CT or a PET scan, and a biopsy isn't just an option, it's absolutely required. That's how doctors confirm the diagnosis and figure out the exact type of lymphoma they're dealing with. All right, so you've got a diagnosis. Now what? Let's look at what comes next and the different treatment paths. If the verdict is a lipoma, the good news keeps coming. You've got options. Honestly, a lot of people just decide to leave it alone and keep an eye on it, especially if it's not bothering them. But if it's uncomfortable, or if you just don't like how it looks, surgical removal is a super common and simple outpatient procedure. Of course, 
If it were a lymphoma, that would be the start of a completely different journey with cancer specialists, which is exactly why getting that initial diagnosis right is so, so critical. And that's the thing, getting those answers quickly can make all the difference for your peace of mind. For so many people, the long wait times to see a specialist are just brutal. And you know, this exact problem is what led the founders of the Minor Surgery Center, who are both board certified plastic surgeons, to say, hey, there has to be a better way. Their whole vision was to create a place where people could get answers and treatment without those frustrating long waits. And they're not new to this. We're talking over 10,000 patients treated every single year. When you're seeing that many people, your team gets incredibly good, incredibly fast at diagnosing and managing things just like lipomas. So what does that actually mean for someone like you? Well, it means you can get direct access to a top tier specialist without even needing a referral from your family doctor. That alone can shave weeks or months off your wait time. You're being seen by highly trained plastic surgeons in a clinic that has hospital level safety protocols. That's exactly the kind of peace of mind you want when you're dealing with something like this. Look, if there's just one thing you remember from all of this, let it be this. Finding a lump is scary for sure, but most of them are totally harmless. The most important thing you can do is not to panic, but also don't ignore it. Getting it checked out by a professional is the only way to really know and get that weight off your shoulders. So if you're in Canada and any of this has been ringing a bell for you, if you've got a lump or any kind of skin lesion that's been on your mind, there's a really easy next step you can take. You can actually book a free consultation with the specialists over at the Minor Surgery Center. And you don't need a referral. Just head over to their website to set up your appointment. It is genuinely the fastest way to stop worrying and start getting the expert answers you deserve.